This video is a review of the transportation add-on. What I discuss in this video is the size of the library, the price, and then I look at some quality aspects like topology, RAM usage, materials and shaders, and the ease of use of the add-on, and then I make a conclusion. Let's look at the size of the library first. There are two packages. The Pro package has 50 vehicles and um, the Light package has 21 vehicles. It has also HD rice, car paints and back plates. And I collected all the vehicles. Um, <clears throat> you see it here. So that's quite a lot. So and then I'm curious about the price of it and, and the quality. So let's take a look at that. So we have the Light and the Pro. The Pro, Pro has 50 models and that's $60. And the Light is, uh, uh, sorry, $59 and $29 for the Light one. Now when you look at the average price of a car, um, I think it's around $25 because I collected a few here and this one is a rigged one that's also rigged here are two and they have all different qualities but uh, I, uh, I suppose it's around $25 now if each car in this library would be $25 so that's 50 times 25 and then uh, this package would be $1250 but that's not the case uh, so it's $59 so that's a very interesting offer but then because the price is so low I'm also curious about quality let's take a look at that so we will look at topology um, RAM usage is more is also about details. Then I look at the materials, the shaders, and how easy it is to use that on. When I checked first the topology, I was very surprised because I'm not really into uh, topology. Actually, I <laughs> that is one of the things um, I'm not good in in Blender. Not good in topology, not a new V I'm wrapping. But when I look at this, I, I can model uh, quite quite okay. But I cannot model uh, cars. So when I look at this topology, I think, well, yeah. That's what I want to learn also. And let's take a look closer in the 3D viewport. For example, Oh, when I look at this, I think that looks very, very decent. I, I think I never could come to this um, solution. But overall, the topology looks very good. I see nice uh, flows. Uh, also here, that looks uh, good. And here that looks, I think this is a really flawless. As I said, I'm not a specialist in topology, but I think this looks quite good. Or I would say this is flawless. But um, let's continue. Let's look at the details or the RAM usage. It's uh, quite the same, right? So, um, because the more details you have, the more uh, the heavier the load. So what I did, I checked how much um, RAM usage uh, such a car has, and I use I used um, 720p as resolution. 320 samples, adaptive sam uh, sampling for diffuse bounces and pretty glossy bounces, bounces. 
Corsix on and I have a GTX 1080 Ti. I don't use compositing here. So it's a render I didn't do anything. So just have a ZRI, put a car into the scene and then render it out. So I have five examples and just run a time 25 seconds, 26 with a big memory of nearly one gigabyte for one car, one ZRI and a shadow catcher. This one was lower, surprisingly. So the run time was uh, 11 seconds, uh, peak memory below 500, and this one 27 seconds, slightly over 1 gigabyte, 18 seconds below 1 gigabyte, and 35 slightly above 1 gigabyte. So let's uh, take a look at the details in the, the 3D view. So you see that the wheels, uh, or the tires, have, and the wheels also, have a high, a pretty high detail. Uh, topology is less here, but that's uh, good. And under the car here, you see there's not much detail because you don't really need it and it is flat. So that is that looks also good. Let's look inside and you see also here that the topology is good and the density is not too high. So this looks very very nice. Next, uh, the materials and shaders. Um, so uh, when you load a car into the scene and you put it in an HD array, then you might find that the, um, first of all the the black materials are, can be too black. But I spoke with the developer about it, and he has plans to make the black materials a bit uh, lighter, so it is more a bit more realistic and it fits better into the HD array. But you can also always change the material. And you can uh, make your own color for the car paint. So you have then the car paint, you, you load the car into the scene, and then you can uh, choose uh, here. I will show you this a little bit easier. So you, get, you choose metallic, matte, or shiny, and then you choose on one of those. You can add the car paint to the car and you can also choose go by yourself so let's go down for something like this I think I see Anyway, that's not my favorite color, but um, you see that you can change the color the way you want, easily. So that's very good. The only thing is then... Uh, oh, this is actually good. So the, of the, the tires also not black, you know, I think. But uh, some cars, um, there are a few models, they, they have some very black parts. But this seems to be good I think I cannot go to rendered view because I'm recording right now uh, so that looks uh, also uh, good and the ease of the ease of use of that on I think we have seen it already right so you see here two parts you can add um, a model into the scene a few categories uh, I can show you uh, those I have a previous version, so I, I don't have the newer version. Maybe I will purchase it, but uh, yeah, this is then a kind of a preview version I have. 
So the this category, you can add the car to your scene. You can decide where you want to put it. Snap to the ground, uh, make editable, so you can add it. So if I do this right now, so, and then I think is here 450 MB. And I do this uh, again. And this, so it just goes up a little bit. So that's uh, nearly nothing. So um, I use uh, Alt D and then and then X. Uh, sorry, or Y. So Alt D and then Y. So that's nearly nothing. So uh, I'm curious what happens if I choose this one. No, no, because we got. Oh yeah, yeah, because those are all instances. But. I think I can do something about it. I can connect the the color to the to the object maybe, and then I can assign color to every car separate. But that's uh, something I have to figure out. Then is we oh yeah sorry. Then. We had that, we had that. Oh yeah, I forgot all about this. So it comes also with HD arrays, and those are optimized, and they don't take that much uh, RAM, but they are is it still um, same quality, or what do they say here exactly? Well, you can read it on, on this uh, page over here. It says, optimized for Blender cycles, um, optimize for Blender. No crash. All right, so you can uh, read uh, this, why it is, but it is very easy to have uh, HD arise as well. Okay, this is also very handy. I love that. M better than uh, what I have now in my um, asset manager. If you put that down. You can control also the strength of the light, but this is a bit easier. So I love this uh, part also. Our saturation uh, this is also handy. And when you put your camera like that, you have a HDRI. Let's split it that way. And then um, you see a HDRI here, and this, this will be the shadow catcher later on and then you can add a back plate and then you have a back plate over there so that will add so this back plate um, belongs to that HDRI choose another one I think we have all the back plate oh yeah then we have to add this and then you have all the back plates so that is Pretty handy now. All right, so then I can go to the conclusion. So when we look at the size of the library and the price, then it's definitely worth to invest it. Um, I think sooner or later you want to use um, a car or something else and instead of buying just one car or two cars then uh, if you buy this library then you have and the, the choice uh, what car or you have everything in one go there's also a good balance between the details and performance so the it's not too high detailed for example if you load a car into the scene that your car is the only thing you can then run out. There's still space to put in um, like a terrain, uh, textures, HDRI, etc. The add-on has a low learning curve, so that doesn't uh, take much time. And the quality of the of the uh, objects or the cars, they are pretty, uh, they are very good. 
Yeah, the only thing that needs attention uh, that is the default colors. They could um, then fit better into the scene. But as I said, the developer has plans to um, take care of that. And um, I believe I heard the plan to make uh, rigged cars. So maybe he put, will put a comment uh, to this video about uh, that red cars. Uh, oh yeah, I have seen a tweet about it, but and there were not many details, so we will figure that out. Right, so um, personally I'm very happy with that one. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and then see you in the next video, alright?